Welcome everyone. In this session, we will be looking at how Brocade and NetApp are working together to further improve SAN visibility in virtualized environments through the support of VMID. To kick this session off, we will be touching on what the Brocade VM Insight feature is, as well as the level of visibility it can provide our customers. We will then get familiar with our VM Insight demo environment by going over the topology and use case scenario prior to showing it in action. Before we get started, remember to check out part two of this series where we dive into how Brocade and NetApp are making end devices become aware of impacts in the SAN through the support of Fabric Performance Impact Notifications, also known as FPIN. Brocade VM Insight enables an additional level of visibility for virtualized environments, allowing for telemetry to be captured from the individual VM on an ESX server all the way down to the storage LUN or namespace the VM is communicating with. In turn, Users can begin identifying individual VMs that may be experiencing abnormal behaviors even if they are utilizing a shared physical path with other VMs. Brocade tracks, monitors, and alerts users on various VM level metrics through our monitoring and alerting policy suite, also known as MAPS, helping drastically improve troubleshooting capabilities to easily identify root causes for quicker problem resolution. NetApp has also introduced the capability to automatically register for VMID service upon device connection to Brocade switches, beginning with ONTAP 9.8 and above. This now allows NetApp storage users to seamlessly integrate with Brocade to take advantage of instant VM level telemetry. Now for the storage vendors that don't yet support native VMID registration, like NetApp does, which really makes the use of VM Insights seamless and easy to take advantage of in the fabric, Brocade has introduced what is referred to as VMID+. This capability enables customers using storage that does not natively support VMID with the option to configure VMID+, on specific ports, on switches and directors, to also begin gathering VM-level telemetry. Although this seems to solve VMID for all types of storage, we still strongly encourage customers to reach out to their storage vendors to implement VMID natively as it has major benefits for scalability and adoption of this capability in the market. As we have a VM Insight demonstration coming up next, let's get familiar with the environment topology we will be working with. On the left-hand side, we have an ESXi server which is hosting three virtual machines, VM41, 42, and 43. The server has a dual port HBA attached to both fabrics A and B. On the right-hand side, we have a NetApp storage array also dually connected to fabrics A and B via both controllers. In addition, we have configured a 100 gig LUN that is being shared across all three VMs. Note that Fabric B is currently the active path and that ports 2 and 26 are carrying the combined traffic of all three VMs. We will be touching on the topology in our demo as well. To provide a little more context to our demo, the use case we will be covering involves a culprit VM performing at higher levels than usual becoming heavily congested leading to resource contention and high latencies, potentially impacting neighboring VMs sharing the same resources. With VM Insight, we will be able to identify which one of the three VMs is causing the issue by bringing attention to any triggered maps alerts, analyzing performance and latency metrics via SAN nav management portal, as well as determining if there are any adverse impacts as a result of the culprit VM behavior. Let's get started with the demo and see how Brocade and NetApp are enabling VM level visibility in the SAN. To begin, let's take a look at the NetApp ONTAP System Manager dashboard. Looking at the performance block on the right hand side, we see that there is a recent spike in latency and throughput while experiencing a drop in IOPS. Let's dig a little further by taking a look at the storage LUNs in use and filter by the highest latency. We come to find that the LUN mapped to our ESX63 server is likely the culprit considering its latency is significantly higher than the other LUNs on the array. Taking a step into the LUN, we see our initiator ports as 9387 and 9388, which we will focus on along the way for further troubleshooting. Scrolling down to the ESX63 LUN performance, we find that the behavior we saw earlier in the dashboard is very much the same, an increase in latency and throughput with a decrease in IOPS. This here is the level of visibility that most customers have, the LUN level from the storage array. Luckily, NetApp has introduced VMID support allowing for brocade switches to begin capturing VM level IO and latency telemetry, offering an additional layer of visibility to our customers. Let's step into SanNav Management Portal and begin troubleshooting the performance issue at hand. 
Landing on the health summary dashboard, we instantly see that we have a degraded host, which turns out to be our ESX63 host. Looking at the health details, we see we are experiencing a performance impact on port 2 of our switch. To validate the impact, as well as when it started, we can make use of the network port traffic conditions dashboard. The dashboard monitors all ports in the fabric for the severity of congestion and oversubscription when present. We see port 2 has been in and out of moderate level of congestion, with the most recent being at around 11.37 a.m. We are provided the exact port, the switch, and the fabric it is a part of, with options to further investigate. Showing violations, we can see pre-correlated events that were triggered related to port 2. In our case, we see additional detail on the IO performance impact rule that was recently violated. To better understand how port 2 is related to the rest of our fabric, let's launch the context-based topology. Here we see port 2 attached to HBA port 9387 on ESX63. When we filter by the host, we come to find that fabric B is currently active, while fabric A is on standby. As we begin to expand our topology view, we see the NetApp storage port we are using is attached to port 26 of our switch while also seeing the host connection on port 2 we are already aware of. Now that we have a better understanding of how the environment is interconnected, let's dig a little further via the faults tab, more specifically the violations sub tab. Here we have multiple instances of the read exchange completion time rule being violated with values over our set threshold. Some key information we are being provided includes the rule name, the measure, and the value triggering that rule. Most importantly, SanNav is providing the source, destination, and host port of the offending flow. Since both our host and storage support VMID, we have created a filter where we want to extract any virtual machines present sharing the same path from the ESX host port to the NetApp storage port across any LUNs available. We find that there are three VMs, VM41, 42, and 43, all sharing the same LUN the same host port, and the same storage port. Selecting all three VMs allows us to further investigate the telemetry associated with each of them. We will make use of the read exchange completion time, read pending IO, and read data rate metrics, which will allow us to see how each of the VMs is behaving with respect to performance and latency. When looking at the last two hours, we instantly see an inverse relationship between VMs 41 and 42 with VM 43. We notice that there has been an increase in read exchange completion time and pending IOs depicted by the blue and red lines across all VMs, while VMs 41 and 42 have experienced a significant decrease in data rate, shown by the green line. VMs 43, on the other hand, experienced a jump in data rate and quickly became the source of congestion on the shared port. This in turn adversely impacted the other two VMs sharing the storage port and the LUN as it was busy clearing I.O. requests for VM43. Now the SAN admin knows exactly where the issue lies and can begin taking corrective action to resolve the impact. With VMID support and the help of SANNAV Management Portal, we were able to quickly gain the level of visibility required to identify performance impacts not only at the port level, but also down to the individual virtual machine. In addition, it provided us with useful telemetry data to identify any adverse impacts to neighboring applications sharing resources to gain a complete picture of the issue at hand. Thank you for watching. To learn more about Brocade, please visit Broadcom.com.